Where does all Tai Chi movement initiate from? From the feet. Yes. Who said that? Cheryl? Cheryl. Excellent. That's right. So all of it initiates from the feet. And then, can you even refine it further and think where in the feet does it initiate from? The it's the arches. That's the part that's standing on the doorknob. And you're turning the doorknob with your feet. And the doorknob fits nicely in the center of your feet or in the arch of your feet. Now, if the arch is here, which is, you can almost see it in, uh, in this foot, can't you? Maybe right here. So the arch is where all of these, we have carpal bones in our wrist while we have tarsal bones in our foot. And that gives that arch. That gives us a nice support system and gives a structure to our foot when it's weight bearing. And then that builds that arch, which is a very strong architectural structure from which to build our movements. So your arch is here. So we're initiating movement from the arch of our foot. So generally, all movement is initiated in the feet, but more specifically in the arches of the feet. And then it moves through the body so that every bone has some capacity to rotate, no matter what it's, uh, oops, <laughs> What's it, what its connection is or how the um, joint articulates every bone has some capacity to rotate. So if we begin the rotation at the doorknob, then there's a slight rotation of the tibia, and then there's a slight rotation of uh, the tibia and the fibia, then there's a rotation at the femur, and then it goes through to the pelvis, and the pelvis rotates, and then the spine rotates, which rotates the shoulders, and then it goes out through the arms, and they rotate, and then our two bones up radius and ulna rotate, and even our fingers rotate. Meanwhile, this is sort of the, the needle in the cotton. It's the center, and it becomes one piece. From tailbone to the crown of the head is one piece. So what I'm seeing in some of you is that you're initiating subconsciously uh, without awareness, you're initiating the rotation with your head. Uh, so, yeah, so you're turning where you want to go, and then the rest of the body is following, okay? And that's completely opposite of the way Tai Chi works. Tai Chi works is that we're standing and we're rotating from the arches of our feet, and the rest follows. And it's now, Tai Chi Tom here doesn't have the flexibility that we do or the mobility we do. So he's moving very solidly as one piece. And when we first start learning this concept, we tend to do that, move as one block. And that's a really great start, actually. But eventually, you'll start to feel almost like a little wave-like motion or a spiraling motion that goes up. And you'll feel every bone rotating from this point. But the part that does not rotate is the head, okay? It just stays aligned. Your tailbone is a fixed um, protrusion. It's connected to our sacrum bone, and that's connected to the pelvis. So the tailbone's not moving, swishing back and forth, neither should your head, okay? So lead from that very point in the center of your arches, and the more you refine your awareness and feeling of that, uh, the more refined your movements become. And then whether you feel it or not, just imagine that you can feel every bone rotating, but the part from the crown of the head to the tailbone stays as one unit. So it's feet first, then the, the uh, head moves with the tailbone, or the nose stays over the dantian right here, okay? I particularly see that um, done incorrectly when we do waving hands in clouds. I think the tendency is to want to watch our hands. And so that's different expression of movement. That's more like a dance 
This is a martial art, so remember we maintain our power with that oneness. It's movement within stillness and stillness within movement, or movement within stability and stability within movement. The stability part is this part. The movement part is all the bones rotating in perfect synchrony with the arches of your feet. Yeah. So let's try just waving hands in clouds and see if you can't sensitize yourself to the awareness of that center of the arches of your feet and then it, how it moves through the body but keeping that nose aligned with the tailbone. All right, let's try it. I think so, I hope I was recording that. Yes, thank you, Sandy. So I'm gonna get a little closer. You don't need to see my feet per se because they're not literally shifting. It's shifting underneath. My doorknob is a very long doorknob or it's deep in the earth. Okay, so. Now we're gonna to turn towards our right Get your left hand up and your right hand down. And then uh, move from the feet. So turn the feet. And feel how that turns your body. That's right. And then the follow through is the switching of the hands. And you turn the floor. That's right. See if you can't feel the arches of the feet turning, the tibia, fibia, then the femur, the whole pelvis, and spine, and head. That was nice, Deborah. I could really see it coming from your feet. Now, keeping in mind that when we do waving hands in clouds, there is a slight weight shift, and we've been talking about connecting the tail, but for now, I'll just think about or feel how in waving hands in clouds, it's opposite of many of our other movements. In other words, we are weight shifting in the direction we're going. So we don't want to over weight shift. That's when that expansion to the back helps give us a little bit more range without overstressing the weight shifted leg. Make sure you're not weight shifting away. So I see a couple of you weight shifting away. It's towards. That's it. Okay, let's try one more and then I'll give you one more very simple Lesson on waving hands, very nice, and then come back. But it, it has to go in concert with your feet, in synchrony with your feet. And this will take a little practice, but if you have a, like a tennis ball or something, um, if not, Maestro will be happy to donate one for your cause, I'm sure. Uh, but you want that ball, like if it was two different colors, or actually, no, let's say this is a tennis ball and it's got the label on top. I think we did this once at one of my classes. Everybody had tennis balls. So you got the label on top. All right, put it so it's facing you. Okay, that's very nice position, Alyssa. We're just gonna do one hand Tai Chi here. Yeah, very, very good, nice Beatrice. So just pretend you have a label on it or you can have a little heart or whatever you want, yin yang symbol. And now right here, you're, it's facing you. Now we're not gonna look at it, but as we come across, the ball in my Dantian is rotating in the same way. So this ball's rotating, so this ball rotates. So by the time I'm here, that label is facing away, but it's not, I'm doing it independently of my whole body rotating. That's right. Now sink it down and let the weight of the ball carry it down. Is yours a wooden ball, Beatrice? Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. 
Okay, so if you find a ball that has a little weight, for the, some of you might have some exercise weighted balls, then let the weight of it swing it down and then up and drop the elbow down. Don't go into Chen style, it's Yang style. That's right, and it's almost, to me, it feels, now I've got a little weight in my hand, it's almost as if when I let this go, it helps me turn. Elbow down. That's right, okay. Now let's see if we can do both hands. Elbow down and rotate it. Elbow down, rotate it. Yeah, uh, Darcy, weight shift, I think you're weight shifting away from it, weight shift into it. Weight shift to your left, that's it. Now weight shift to your right. Yes. Elbow, there you go, Darcy, I mean, uh, Deborah. Yeah. It's like resting that elbow down on the table without squeezing it in, it's just a natural position. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay, oh, we have the ball, yeah. If you find something, it really does help to kind of feel that, this part, I'm actually surprised. This is the first time I've done this. And it, wee, it feels so good, because it's like doing the work for me. But I'm still initiating it by dropping my claw or letting go of my left foot and turning the floor. But the most, the two points I wanted to make here was one, your elbow is down in yang style, it is not out here. This is Chen style, this is yang style, okay? <clears throat> and then the second point was that as we rotate through the arches of our feet, the arches of our hand also rotates precisely the same way. And eventually, you'll start to feel all of the bones of your skeleton rotating with it. It's like these gears all working together, and it's a really nice feeling. That was a nice one, Jean. Yeah. I encourage you to try to find a ball and try it today so that you're getting that nice orientation. Now the the purposes of this is that if somebody grabs my wrist and I just come straight across, then I'm putting power on power. I'm just fighting them and, and we're not gonna win that battle, most of us, right? We're just pressing into them. But if they're grabbing me and I turn everything, they, it breaks their grip. And not only that, but if you've got your, your rooting proper, then it's going to get them off balance. It's going to eat, take them away. And then all you, the other, second hand can either be a strike or can be just pushing them. Not pushing, really, guiding, guiding them. But if you don't rotate through the whole body, then you're using muscle instead of Tai Chi principle. So don't even really think of your hand. It's these bones rotating. Try it, grab, grab your wrist. Okay, and just push straight across into your hand. And you can feel, uh, so you're gonna move, let's turn towards your left, and you're going, you've got your, I'm sorry, turn towards your right, you have your left hand up, grab your wrist with your right hand. Now, go against yourself. Now, there you go. So we're, you can feel that you're really fighting, both arms are fighting. Now let's see if we can do this. So instead, I want you to put your awareness in the bottom of your feet, turn the doorknobs, and turn your hand. Mm -hmm. Do you feel first how you lost your grip? And secondly, it was a, it was a softer power, a more pillowy powder power. Just experiment with that. You can feel the difference has to come through the feet. Okay, all right, that's a little, um, 
a little bit of things to think about on waving hands and clouds. To review, initiate from the feet, keep your nose over your dantian and spiral everything. Keep your elbow down for yang style Tai Chi.